Now notice that the angle of the slots are pointing towards the back of the skid plate or the big circle here where the transmission drain plug is. But you also already have the drill holes right here. Uh, from the factory so if you order them new together you'll get the drill holes but if you had an old skid plate you might not have those but it's going to go ahead and fit just like so there you can see a wider part is slowly going towards the end of the vehicle here all right so opening the packet we've got our carriage bolt here i love these things you can see it's got a square on one side and then a hole on the other side so you're going to go ahead and put the carriage bolt so you're going to go ahead and put the carriage bolt through here first like so and then put it through the hole and then put a washer and nut on once you got all of the carriage bolts in with washers and nuts go ahead and get your half inch socket and just tighten it all down all right now i got the starboard side done i'm going to go ahead and do the port side here i got the bolts in so all i got to do is put them get my half inch socket again and tighten it all up i chose the raw aluminum look just because i'm kind of go, going with a white and silver look for my tacoma with a touch of black and so I just wanted to clear coat everything, every skid plate, just clear coat it, make sure it's not going to kind of get super dirty and start corroding and everything. So just a nice little clear coat, especially on the welds, it focused on that. And then um, didn't worry about it too much, just a quick clear coat and we're good to go. Don't even have a transmission skid plate or a chance for a case skid plate to take off, but you can really see how vulnerable that transfer case is it's literally just sticking up right there ready to get whacked and worst part about it is you can see I was playing a little too close with the transfer case here you got a scratch here and here on this tiny little paper thin skid plate luckily I had some good friends watching me uh, so I wasn't whacking in too hard but really time to upgrade it's not the most sexy thing out there to get skid plates but it's definitely a very nice insurance compared to I love seeing someone with the front bumper and then they got the cheap little stock skid plate so I'm gonna go ahead and do the underneath side first and then I'll go ahead and do bumpers at some point but get your underneath side done first before you go ahead and you know tear it up in the off-road so now the transmission skid plate is probably the easiest skid plate to install. You can see there's only two bolts and then you get your washers, you have your uh, lock washers and nut. So you can see you slide in the front in the engine skid plate and then you use the carriage bolts in the back to attach it to the frame. First thing you're going to need to do is remove these crossbars. RCI notes that these are not structural. These are just to protect your catalytic converters when you're off-roading. So go ahead and remove these. I I kept them, but you can throw them away if you like, but I, I like to kind of keep that stuff just in case. Remove the other side as well. That is the driver's side and get both sides removed so we can get the skid plate ready. And so now the skid plate's coming in here and you gotta squeeze it in uh, from, you basically want the frame, the, wa the thick washer, and then the two skid plates. And you can see I barely had that bolt threaded, so it dropped out. So I actually did a couple more threads in so the bolt wouldn't uh, drop out again. Lesson learned there. You can see I'm trying to lift up that black washer up above the transmission skid plate. So both skid plates are attaching. And note the engine skid plate is at the bottom because if you're sliding on a rock, you want it to just easily slide over. Onto the back, we're just going to put the bolts in. You can see they have this really long quarter 20 carriage bolt that we're going to install. Just go ahead and slide it up there. And then you want these weird half shaped moon washer looking things. And you want the flat side facing the outside of the vehicle so it's not interfering with the frame. 
go ahead and slap that washer up there. Don't forget the lock nut, lock nut washer like I did the first time and I had to refilm the video actually. And go ahead and get it up there. And then lastly, put the nut on and just kind of thread it in there. And once again, if you're gonna put in the transfer case skid plate, go ahead and leave these loose so we can slide the transfer case skid plate in there like so. And here's what it looks like up top with the catalytic converter protectors protecting your catalytic converters. Go ahead and tighten the front if you're starting to tighten everything down. Um, I just want to do a couple more turns on this one and then I'm also going to do the transfer case skid plates but I just didn't want those to fall out just in case. Feel free to watch my other YouTube videos with the uh, skid plates, anything with my Tacoma or the boat. Please subscribe, like my videos, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much.